So, Aufnahme starten wir auch wieder. Schirm so. Ich hoffe, ich hoffe jetzt, jetzt passt's. Hm, hm, okay. Dann hoffe ich, hoffe ich, dass es jetzt besser wird oder besser ist. Allgemein. Dann machen wir weiter. So, äh. B -b -bam. B -b -bam. I'm already on the next floor. I just didn't bother saying anything about it. That's a great story. Beginning scan floor B1. Do you think we get paid over time for this crap? I don't know. Barely matters though. Time and a half of what we have, what we make is still next to nothing. So das so nochmal auf YouTube. Na, alles klar. Maybe, maybe Troy set the fire because he was angry about all the wage cuts recently. God, do you have any clue? Wait until we get out of here before you start making jokes about the, about the deceased. Hey, I could be right. I could be right for all you know. The guy was whack. I wouldn't take much to set. It wouldn't take much to set him off. No, just stop. I mean it. You know, speaking of the deceased, I've been so wrapped up in working with you guys, I almost forgot I'm in a room with two dead bodies. Hast du was verpasst? Hast du ja. Uh, das ist natürlich doof. Äh, Im Endeffekt nicht wirklich. Die haben sich über nichts Wichtiges informiert. Äh, oder über nichts Wichtiges unterhalten, meine ich. Haben sich nur ein bisschen gestritten. Christina ist ein bisschen, weiß nicht, ein bisschen bitchy gewesen. Scrollen oder so geht, Leute. Ah, nix, nix Wichtiges. You know, speaking of the disease, I've been so wrapped up in the working with you guys. I almost forgot I'm in a room with two dead bodies. Oh, I'd forgotten too. That's awful. What can you find out about them? I guess I should probably search them, huh? I really don't want to, though. Ah, good luck. You must make a strong. You must have a stronger stomach than me. Okay, I'll go look now. Back. I found a blue file in the hand of one of them. Really, what does it say? It's a security code, the one that Troy gave us. Wait, really? Why are you surprised, Chris? I would exp it would explain how Troy could tell us the code. Why would he give us the code anyway? What does he get out of it? I don't get it either. Why shoot two people, set a building on fire and then try to play the hero? It makes no sense to me. Why don't we ask him? Oh, whoops. No, it's not funny. Hey, simple mistake. Chris? Chris! You sure managed to get yourself ignored a lot? Nah, I wasn't that, I wasn't that fast on talking to her anyway. Two. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B1. One casualty unavoidable. No. Candidates. Christina. Steve. No. No. Chris. I thought I was going to make it. There's only one more floor to gr to ground level. You're getting out of here, Chris. There's no way I'm letting you die. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. You're not sacrificing yourself for me. Chris, you know I don't mean any of the shit I say, right? Of course I do. I'm not an idiot. You don't need to die to prove that. Good. Then I'm ready. Steve. No, you don't deserve to die. No one deserves to die, Chris. Especially not you. You're not going to ignore me now, are you? I just don't know what to say. How about goodbye? Whatever happens, this is the last time we'll ever talk to each other. This isn't how I wanted things to go. Do you think I want to die? You don't understand. I'm sorry, you too. If I don't do something now, you'll both die. It's alright, I'm ready now. It'll be like a barbecue. Shut up! You're not going to die, is he, visitor? Our visitor knows what they are doing. They'll save you. Visitor, promise me you'll save him. Promise me. So, 
Wer darf sterben? Chris oder Steve? Ihr entscheidet. <lacht> Steve muss sterben. Schon wieder. Alles klar. Steve muss sterben. Ups. Moment. Neu Start. So, Steve muss sterben. Zack. Zack. Wasser an. Zack. Wasser aus. Zack. Steve tot. Und Chris. <clears throat> The fire has been contained. Casualties, Steve. No! I'm so sorry. No, it's not fair. Why would you choose... Why would you save me? I had to listen to one of you. You don't understand. He never hurt anyone. Neither did you. Yes, I did. Troy and Lionel and Steve. They all died because of me. The security guards too. Visitor, this is all my fault. I lit the fire. No, you didn't. Troy did. No, he didn't. I don't know what his steel is. Was. I set the fire. Then I killed the guards before they could do anything about it. From the start, it was all me. Ihr habt... Ihr habt die Mörderin gerettet. Christina, you know it wasn't really you. It was Troy. If it was Troy, why would he? Tr why was he trying to save us all? I don't know. No one does. Then isn't how it was. Then this isn't how it was meant to go. Steve wasn't meant to be here. The building was meant to be nearly empty. Let's say you did it. What was your motive? I wanted to stop whatever what was going on in this building forever. And I wanted to kill Lionel before he ruined anyone else's life too. What did Lionel do? Him and his company. They killed my mother. What? Machen wir nicht sowieso alle... Ja. Ja. Die Konklusion beim, beim Lionel, der ist gestorben. Und bei dem einen Ende konnte ich keinen retten, da mussten dann alle sterben. So, so, ein, so ein richtiges Lionel-Ende hatten wir aktuell noch nicht. Das kommt aber noch. My mother used to work at this company. She had the same name as me. She never told me much about what they did here. She always just said, experiment. Well, one day she went to work and never came back. We ordered a search, but no one could find her. Ja, beim ersten Durchgang sind alle, alle tot gewesen. It was a week before we got a call from the Phoenix Corporation. They told us that they were so sorry and that mom had died in an experiment. Sorry my ass. They still wouldn't tell us what happened and then, when they sent back her body, they sent back her body with her brain cut out. They cut out her brain so they could experiment on it. They killed my mother so they could look at her brain. Christina, I'm so sorry. I couldn't let them get away with doing anything like that ever again. So I started working here at the company. They knew who I was, but I think they gave me a job to shut me up. Since then, I've spent God knows how long trying to find out what they did to my mother, but I haven't gotten anywhere. When I read in the notices that Lionel was going to be visiting today, I knew I had to do something. But I thought I'd worked out the timing perfectly. Steve wasn't meant to be working over time, and now he's dead. I killed him. I killed all of them. 
I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Nothing's going to help. I just keep moving through this building and when I get out, I'll be arrested and I'll finally get what I deserve. Okay. Alright, I'm on the ground floor now. Beginning scan, ground floor. To be honest, I still have no idea where I am. Most of the building is off limits normally. We take elevators down to our workspaces on floor B3 and we never see the rest of the building. What a weird way to do things. Makes sense when you remember they are trying to hide the skeletons in their closet. Oh, there's a blue file on the desk in here. It looks like the one you found on the security guard. Another one? What's the point of that? It has a different code on it. Maybe this would let you lock more fire doors at a time? But if I'd had that earlier... I don't even want to think about this. I'm going to keep moving. No fire detected. Hold on a sec, there's a big metal door I need to open. Alright. Okay, I'm through now. There's a sign here, it says Tempest Entrance. What's that? No clue. There's a door here though. It looks kind of strange. I'm going to go through. Sure, just tell me what you find. Christina's disconnected. Reason? Signal lost. What? No, we were so close. Why would it drop out now? Christina! Christina, I'm coming to find you. Visitor has disconnected. Christina and... The mystery is not yet solved. You must explore all possibilities to find the truth. Yay. Yay. So. Eine Ende. Oder ein normales Ende haben wir schon. Machen wir gleich das Steve-Ende. Wird das hinter uns haben. So, Steve muss gerettet werden, heißt der sperrt sich ein und Feuer. Feuer. Feuer! Gut. Piep, piep. So. Steve gerettet. The fire has been contained. Casualties, Christina. I'm so sorry. I don't want to hear it. If you were sorry, you would have listened to me. I had to make a decision. I don't expect you to be happy with what I've done. Just shut up. This is all a trick. This is a nightmare. You're still there, aren't you, Chris? If you're there, send me a message. You're just ignoring me again, right? Steve, I understand this must be impossible for you right now. But you need to keep moving. And what the hell is the point of that? Christina just died for you. If you don't get out of here, she'll have died for nothing. Sure, I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna turn out this. And it's gonna turn out this has all been some sick joke and Chris will be waiting for me outside. Alive! I mean, how do we even know it was Chris who was writing those messages, right? Okay, I'm ready. I'm heading up to ground level. I can't wait to see her again. Scan ground floor. Alright, just a little further. Oh, there's a desk here with one of those blue files you were talking about on top of it. It's another security code. Another one? But for what? I guess with this you can control more fire doors at the time. Not a lot of use now. Steve, are you still there? Steve? I knew it! I told you! T told me what? She's alive! Chris is alive! What? What's going on? No fire detected. So there was a file next to the one with the security code. When I saw it, I knew it. I knew that. When I saw it, I knew I had to read it. It was titled The Phoenix Experiment. The one with the cockatiels. Just let me explain. So I didn't get a lot of it, but here's what I understood. So Phoenix Corp had, ex had an experiment planned where they were going to buy lots of cockatiels and teach them to say a phrase. But every time they had enough birds for the experiment, they would just randomly decide to increase the sample size. All in all, they bought around 6 million cockatiels. They stopped buying them the day something weird happened. One of the cockatiels they bought already knew the phrase they were going to teach it. Weird. Maybe whoever sold it to them probably knew what was going on and tried to mess with the experiment. Let me finish. So. They attacked a special cockatiel that already knew the phrase, and it 
taught the phrase to all the other cockatiels. But the experiment didn't end there. They ran each and every one of the cockatiels through some kind of machine. It was worse than Chris had thought. They all died. All of them, except one. The bird that, that they'd marked. The one that already knew the phrase was fine. What? What sort of machine works like that? I have no idea. The paper talks very little about the machine itself, and what it does say I don't understand. Bizarre, but... Now does this tell you Christina is alive? I'm sorry, I'm all over the, over the place right now, so here's the thing. The phrase that the birds were taught... It was Christina lives. Steve, I assure you're feeling alright? I mean it, that's what it says, you can see for yourself when I show Chris. But even if it's true, we still have no idea what that phrase may means. What do you mean? Christina lives. It means she's alive. But we don't understand anything about the experiment. It could mean anything. Steve? Come on, uh, you need to keep in contact. Sorry, no time to type. I've got to find the way out so I can find Chris. See ya soon. No, keep talking. Steve, come on. Steve has disconnected. Reason signal lost. Steve, what the hell have you done? I'm coming to find you. Disconnected. Steve and the mystery is yet not yet solved. You must explore all possibilities to find the truth. So. Einen zwei kamen wir schon. So, müssen wir nochmal von neu anfangen. So, diesmal muss Troy überleben. Check. Check. Äh, was? Uh, okay. So, also Troy hat überlebt. <coughs> Steve ist tot. Why? Why save me? My thoughts exactly. Why did you leave Steve to die? I could only save one of them, and Troy knew the security code. He's the reason I could sa I could save anyone. We need to know what else he knows. Alle leben. Ah, now we're thinking. I'm not going to do anything to save anyone from here on in. Tell me now, how did you know the security code? Visitor, check the bodies on those two security guards. This better not be a trick. Just do it. Fine. Well, that explains that. What did you find? One of the guards was holding a blue file with security code. Troy told us before written in... Uh, was holding a blue file with the security code. With the security code Troy told us before, written in it. They were? A blue file. Those contain the security codes. Each one allows you to lock another fire door. Come on, Chris, im ersten Level. Nein. Entweder Steve oder. Beziehungsweise, ich glaube, man kann sie töten, aber einer von den anderen beiden muss auch sterben. Oder stirbt auf jeden Fall auch. Entweder Steve oder Troy. Und die, die Geschichte geht erst weiter, wenn nur einer stirbt. Das heißt, es dürfen nicht zwei sterben. Das heißt, Christina muss auf jeden Fall im ersten Level überleben. Wenn man nichts machen würde, äh, nicht ganz. Also im ersten Level an sich würde zum Beispiel Lionel nicht sterben, weil der ist in einem Raum drin, äh, wo gar kein Feuer ist. Genau. Aber die anderen drei würden theoretisch auch sterben, bloß die Geschichte geht halt erst weiter, wenn man nur einen sterben lässt oder so. Um, I found the code when I killed them. I thought I'd give you a fighting chance, so I told you to I told you the code. You're welcome. Why did you do this? Instead of asking all the questions, why don't you go uh, why don't you look for a way out? The main the main rooms completely blocked by rubble is why? There should be a staircase in a room near both of you. Hmm, you're right. I'm heading up now. Fine, me too. 
So while we're here, Lionel, could you tell me what the hell is, is it that this company is set up to do? Don't waste your breath. He's not going to l tell you anything. Well, maybe you'd like to explain then. There's nothing to, ex to explain. That's a lie, and you know it. You both work here. Shouldn't you know what they what the company does? You'd think. The company mostly buys and sells things in bulk, but there's something dark going on underneath all that. Like what? Beginning scan candidates Christina Troy. Huh? Don't worry just yet. Then why would you say anything? Christina, that's a nice name. It's your mother's, correct? What? How could you know that? Answer me, tell me right now. God damn it. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B2. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates Christina Troy. How could you know that? How could you know the code? How could you know one of us is going to die? I told you. I lit the fire. I'm behind, behind all of this. I know everything. No, that answer is not good enough. Could we do this later? There is no later. Tell me now. I'm not telling anyone anything. Just let me die. Das ist das Spiel in der richtigen Reihenfolge spielen. Im Endeffekt gibt es eigentlich keine richtige Reihenfolge. Beziehungsweise die einzige richtige Reihenfolge. Ja, ich weiß nicht. Also, äh, wir spielen das Spiel halt äh, von links nach rechts bisher. Durch eure Entscheidungen. Wir spielen das Spiel von links nach rechts. Deswegen überlebt die da. damit wir das Ende haben können, wo alle sterben. Beste Reihenfolge? Ich weiß gar nicht. Also man muss auf jeden Fall jedes Ende auf mindestens einmal bekommen. Im Endeffekt bekommst du bei jedem Ende neue Informationen irgendwie. Ähm ich zum Beispiel, als ich das zuerst gespielt habe, habe ähm, Troy als allererstes überleben lassen. Um, und dem sein Ende hat, hat mich dann doch schon sehr ähm, animiert, das Spiel dann weiter zu spielen. Also das eigentlich, weiß gar nicht. Das Recht, ja. Kommt halt, kommt halt aufs Ende drauf an. Denk mal. So, fire has been contained, casual destroy. Well, I guess he finally got what he wanted. Good, the man was a maniac. He's cost my company millions already. And he killed four people. It'll be six if you don't get out of here soon. Alright, alright, I found the stairs. Me too. Beginning scan, floor B1. I didn't mean to be so careless about uh, killers before. It's just this will severely impact our operations. Don't you think that might have been the point? What do you mean by that? Troy probably wanted to stop Phoenix, whatever mess up things you do here. I suppose that makes sense. No, impossible. Our business here is strictly confidential. Does it sound li like a slip on of the tongue to you, visitor? Calculations complete. Two casualties unavoidable. Candidates Christina Lionel. Two casualties unavoidable. No. So neither of us is going to live? I'm afraid not. I guess that's fairest, isn't it? What? Why, why would we deserve to live when Steve and Troy had to die? Because Troy was a murderer! And what about Steve? Well, either way, goodbye. 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 So, alle müssen sterben. Bam, bam, bam. Tot. Tot. Yeah. Bad end. Bad end. Bad end. Bad end, bad end, bad end. So. 
das Gespräch überspringen wir. So, einer muss sterben. Ne, beziehungsweise. Da muss ich ja eh. Da muss Troy überleben. Gut. So. Aber als nächstes dürfte er wieder entscheiden. Why is being contained casualties, Christina? Not again. You don't sound too happy for someone who's lucky to be alive. Visitor, tell me, what would it take to get you to kill me? You can't ask someone something like that. You're mad! I've killed all these people. Of course I'm gonna I'm goddamn mad. You're going to have to choose between saving me or Lionel soon. Promise me you'll save Lionel. But how do you know that? It doesn't matter. All that matters is I'm a monster and I don't deserve to live. Uh, it does matter. Of course it matters. I want to know too. Tell me why you did this. There's not enough time. Besides, you won't believe me. You never believe me until it's too late. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Calculations complete. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates Lionel Troy. So, jetzt dürft, mal, jetzt dürft ihr entscheiden. Lionel Troy. It doesn't matter, just save Lionel. I must concur, please spare me. Shut up, I want to know what's going on. If I give you answers, will you let me die? If you save me, I'll let you think I'll tell you things Troy doesn't know. I'll tell you what he what we really do here. Troy, tell me, then you can die. Okay, but I'll have to be quick. The truth is I've been here before. What is that supposed to mean? Urgent. Oh. Deadlock. Dann entscheide ich. Dann entscheide ich. Ah. Der überlebt. Lionel Ende, Lionel Ende machen wir dann ganz zum Schluss. So this is how it goes, is it? I don't know how much longer I can do this. What are you talking about? What were you saying before the, ch before the chat cut out? And while we read it, how do you know everything? And why did you light the fire? There's nothing I can do now. I may as well tell you what I know. First things first, the reason I lit the fire, I didn't. What? That makes no sense. I don't know who really did it, though. I don't know who killed the security guards either. While we're at it, I have no idea what they do here at this company. You're full of crap. How, do, how did you know all of all that stuff then? How did you know the security code? You're probably not going to believe this. No, I know you're not going to believe this. I knew the security code because because I heard you read it out. You know that makes no sense. You told me it before I ever read it. This time I did. This time? What the hell do you mean this time? I've been here before. I've been here five times before. The first time I was in my office doing my work when suddenly the fire alarms went off. I went on the chat to find out what was happening and Lionel explained you would need a security card code to save anyone. You all scrambled around looking for a blue file before you finally found one. That's when I found out the code. Then you had to make decisions. Steve died, Christina died, Lionel died. I was the only one left. I had to keep going. I found a room called the Tempest Entrance. I went inside and there was a bright light and suddenly... Well, you won't believe this bit. Suddenly I was back before the fire sitting in my office. What? I don't know how, but I traveled through time. I was so glad to hear you all li or you all alive. But none of you remembered what had happened. You all thought I was insane. 
but just like this time, because I knew the code, he thought I could save everyone. So once again, Steve died, and Christina, then Lionel. I got to the end, back uh, the Tempest entrance, and it happened again, and again, and again. Five times it's happened. <clears throat> that's a lot to take in. I'm not sure I believe you. If that's true, why did you say you were the arson? Because I just want to die. Five times now, I've watched them all die just so I can live. And for what? So I can go back and watch them die again. I wanted you to think I was evil. Who would save, who would save a murderer over an, over an innocent life? Me, apparently. None of my plans to save the others have worked. Not one. I'm just tired. So, now what? I've checked everywhere, all the doors are locked, just like last time. I have no choice, I have to go back to the start. Wait, you don't have to, the fire's contained now. If you just wait there, someone will come and find you. No, I can't let the loop end. I can't let the loop end until someone else survives. I've been through too much. I'm ready to die. Whoever makes it out of this building should want to live. But if you go back, what happens to me? What happens to the world once you go? I have no idea. Does that mean there are now five worlds out there? In space or time or whatever, where you've just disappeared and everyone else is dead? When you put it like that, I guess you're right. But how is that possible? I guess is as good as yours. I'm outside the Tempest entrance now. This is it. I guess so. I'll see you again soon, just you won't see me. There's John Cena. I still can't wrap my head around this at all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Troy End. Yeah. So, machen wir noch das Lionel Ende. Und dann natürlich das True Ende. So, Lionel, der muss überleben. So. First bin Contain Casualties Troy. Ah, excellent. You have made the right decision. I'm not sure there was a right decision. Now, you made a promise. Very well, a deal's a deal. What do you want to know? Um, I want to know Christina, uh, I want to know Christina was talking about. What's going on in this company? Christina herself has no idea what we do here. She was right about one thing, though. Here at Phoenix Corporation, we buy and sell large stocks of cheap products just to keep the books looking busy. It's a front. Our true interest here is time travel. Time travel? That is indeed what I said. And you expect me to believe that. I don't care what you believe. You asked for the truth and here it is. Now, if you'll let me continue, we in fact have a fully functional time machine in this facility. But the time machine we have constructed doesn't quite work like the ones you might see in the movies. As in, it does nothing because time travel isn't real? If you're not going to listen, I don't see why you bothered saving me. No, our time travel doesn't affect physical objects. Well, that doesn't sound very useful. What can it do? It can carry a person's consciousness through time. Consciousness? Their thoughts, their personality, their likes and dislikes, their experiences and their memories. Our machine can carry those things through time. You know, I don't believe a word of this. It's your own loss. So if I was to hop in, the, in this machine and go an hour into the future, what would actually happen? Your consciousness would leave your body and effectively you would die. Die? At first, then after an hour, your consciousness, was, consciousness would re-enter your body and you would come back to life, not even realizing an hour had passed. 
That's impossible. We've done it successfully. People, birds, dogs, anything with a brain can travel in our machine. But what use is that sort of time travel? Your body would start to decompose if you went forward more than a few hours. That is true. We are still exper experimenting with methods of preserving the body that would allow the consciousness to later re-enter it. Currently freezing seems promising. But this is not where our true interest lies. If a person travels forward through time, they can visit distant era. They can visit distant distant eras and the like, but they can still only live for the 80 years of their body dictate uh, for the 80 years their body dictates. But what if one was to travel backwards? You mean back to when they were younger? Exactly. They would retain the memories and experiences gained over time, but they would have a younger body. Unless they were in an accident and died instantly, they could live forever. Oh, oh! Yes, with our machine, no one has to die. That's the title for the Spiel. That would be huge, but does it work? We believe so. What's that supposed to mean? Our tests traveling forward have gone exactly to plan. However, in our tests, things didn't work quite so well going backwards. What happened? Our human test subject entered the machine, we activated it, her consciousness left her body and... And unfortunately, it never came back. She died. That's terrible. What went wrong? We have uh, dedicated every resource we have available to discovering the cause of this problem. And we haven't worked it out. We think the machine may have worked. What? How can you say that when someone died? It's an incredibly complicated concept, but I will explain it to you. First, though, you have to do something for me. I have entered the code to unlock access to the rooms on the ground floor. I'm in the Tempest room. Come meet me here. But why? Why can't you tell me now? Disconnected. I know. Where'd you go? I guess I have no choice now. I have to go find you. Schreib dir in den Chat, obwohl niemand mehr drin ist. <coughs> the end is near. Final timeline. Final timeline. Urgent! The Phoenix Corporation headquarters security has been compromised. All personnel evacuate immediately. Bam, Feuer. Visitor has locked in on the Phoenix Communications Network. Lionel, what the hell is going on here? I went into the Tempest room like you told me to, and now I'm back here in the control room. Wait. Christina has locked on the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. What? How did I end up here? Steve has locked on. Chris, you're alive! I knew you were alive! Steve, I thought you were dead! Me? Troy has locked on. You guys, you remember! You finally remember! Troy, this is all just part of some trick of yours, isn't it? No, I have no idea what's going on. You think I'm going to believe that after you lit this fire? I didn't light the fire. You don't get to change your story now. Steve, he's telling the truth. What do you mean? Lionel is locked on. Amazing, I knew this would happen sometime, somewhere, but I never thought I'd be the one to witness it. You know what's going on here? Yes, but for now there are more pressing matters. Does anyone here have one of the security codes? I already told you mine last time, RFTS. But did anyone find any new ones? Oh, I found a blue file which said in it. I have one. I found one uh, which said Zoe. Perfect, visitor. I confess that just before I cut out last time we spoke, I found a file containing the code EMAS. Now quickly enter all the codes. All right, all right. Security code confirmed. Security system online. Beginning scan. Four codes received. Full access granted. Full access. You can now lock four fire doors at the time, instead of just one. Lionel, tell us what the hell is going on here already. Why is everyone alive again? 
There's no way I, I would have enough time for that now. Calculations complete. Fire! No casualties expected. No one has, no one has to die. Yes, now we have the security codes. We are all safe. Let's get out of here then. So, Jack, 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 Jack. Alle gerettet. Yeah. Yeah! Fantastic, we're still alive. Great, but you still owe us an explanation. How is everybody alive again? How did I end up back where I was when the fire started? Why aren't these rooms fire damaged anymore? Visitor, do you remember what I told you before? Yeah, you, you invented a time machine. Impossible! Well, it was a bit different to a time machine, I guess. It carries your thoughts and memories through time instead of your body. Correct so far. It works going forward, but going backwards... Going backwards to kill someone. They never returned to their body. That is the story as I told it. That person you murdered was my mother, asshole! What? Your mother died of a brain tumor? You told me so. That was a lie. Lionel killed my mother to test some impossible time travel bullshit. So I lit the fire. I lit it to kill Lionel and wreck his corporation before they ruined any more lives. Chris, I don't believe it. I had suspected as much. Christina, your mother is not dead. What do you mean by that? I have seen her body. You took her brain. Ba -ba -bam, so, alle überleben. Zack, zack, zack. Yeah! Yeah! Lionel, answers! Your mother is not dead. This is going to be hard to explain. When we set your mother back in time, she never returned to her body. However, there was not a single fault in our logic. The time machi uh, the machine was designed perfectly. The machine in what is what's in the Tempest room, right? Correct. Anyway, we conducted many experiments and eventually came to our fas fascinating conclusion. When our subject had traveled forward through time, the future was not set, and so time would bend to ac accommodate our time traveler. That is, the consciousness traveling through time would remain in its own timeline. But when traveling backwards, things were not so simple. The consciousness would become lost in the mess that is time-space. It would find a host, one which owned the consciousness and one which ex existed at the time it had been sent back to. But it would not always find its host in its own universe. You've lost me. Our research would suggest that there are, there are a nearly infinite amount of universes, each nearly ident identical with only minute differences between them. So when Christina's mother traveled backwards through time, she was not alone. Trillions of her, maybe even more, traveled too. They would land randomly into different timelines. Some would land in the same timeline and one consciousness would overwrite the other. In some timeline, no one would ever know that Christina's mother had even left or that the consciousness that returned to her body wasn't from their universe. A rare, a rare few conscious, consciousnesses would land back where they began, in their own universe. But many timelines were left like here, in this universe, where Christina's mother's consciousness left this world, but no other consciousness returned to fill her body. Because of this, the body remained empty, and Christina's mother was effectively dead. But her consciousness lived, uh, lives on in another time, another universe. I'm not buying a word of this. Bum. But it explains everything. This is why everything kept happening over and over again. This is why we're all here. Yes, it took me a while to figure out, but we have all been brought here by the Tempest Machine. 
Visitor, you remember a time in which you let everyone die apart from myself, correct? Yeah, then you gave me access to the Tempest Room. Well, each of these people remember remembers different reality. One where they were the only survivor of the fire. That's right. I had to wait and do nothing while Chris died. I had to wait and do nothing as all of you died time and time again. At the end of each of these realities, the survivor ended, uh, entered the Tempest Machine, which had which had had its clock set to the beginning of this disaster as a, res as a security measure. When each of us entered the machine, we were randomly shot into another universe. Some of, uh, some of us would have ended up back where we started, and no one else would remember what had just taken place. But there would be a few universes like this, where by chance all of us came from five different universes into one. And that is how we are all here together now, with memories of different universes. Oh. But the chances of that, hap that happening would be practically zero. Actually, with as many universes as there are, it was incredibly likely. There are probably hundreds of universes in which the same thing has happened as it is happening here. Nothing, ab nothing about this seems incredibly likely. But it is the truth. So, wieder alle retten. Dum, 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 So, retten, retten, anmachen. Da ist scheißegal. Zack. Und ausmachen. Und zack. Fire is being contained. Hey guys, all of you, all of your paths meet up here, right? They do. I suppose they must. Soon we'll all be able to talk in person. I can't wait to see you again, Chris. I'm so glad you're safe. I can't either, Steve. I can't believe you're alive. You're both alive. Well, hurry up then. I'm already there. Okay, coming through. Coming through now. I can see you. I'm in. Me too. Hey, has anyone unlocked the door for me so I can come down to... Hello? Anyone? Guys, stop talking in person for a second and look at your messages. Dang, damn it. Typical. Now what do I do? Visitor. Christina, can you ask Lionel to open the door for me? No, sorry. I don't think I'll have the chance to... Something wrong. Where are you? I stepped out of out for a moment. I'm at the Tempest entrance. I haven't been entirely upfront with all of you. What do you mean? I've been here before. Weren't and weren't you listening to Lionel? We've all been here before. No, I've been here before. To a timeline just like this one where all we managed where we all managed to survive. Except that things went a little differently that time. For instance, I asked Lionel, Lionel where the controls for the Tempest Machine were, and he told me they were on floor B2 in my section of the building. Later, he explained that the machine can't send consciousness back before the first time it was turned on, which was when my mother was sent back through time. So I thought I'd give things another try, and I hopped back in the Tempest Machine. Don't tell me. This time, while we were on bo floor B2, I set the time machine back as far as it could go, to the moment I lost my mother. I'm going back. I'm going back three years to find my mother. This is crazy. What if you just end up in another universe where she disappeared? Then I'll break into here. I'll travel again. What about the people who care about you in this universe? What about Steve? You should know better than anyone what this feels like. You've had to choose one person's happiness over another's time and time again. In the timeline you came from, you even chose to kill me. I wish I could have, I could have Steve and my mother both at once. But I don't have that choice. 
I've spent too long with wishing she was with me to turn back now. Besides, in this world, I'm a murderer and arsonist. There's no place for me here. Christina, you're not going to stop me, are you? No, no, I'm not. Tell Steve I'm sorry and that I love him. Tell him that I hope we meet again somewhere, sometime. But for now, goodbye. Goodbye and good luck. Thanks, I think I'll need it. Disconnected, disconnected. Da, da, da. Ende. Fertig. So. Das war ein schönes Spiel. Yay. Be what? <clears throat> Ähm, ich erkläre es am besten nochmal, was Christina jetzt am Ende gemacht hat und so weiter. Also, äh, Christina hat ja erzählt, dass sie schon mal in so einer Timeline war, wo alle überlebt haben. Und am Ende von der Timeline, damals, hat sie Lionel gefragt, wo man denn diese Tempest-Maschine einstellen kann. Der hat sie dann gesagt, warum auch immer, hat es halt einfach. So, und jetzt, als sie wieder in dieser Timeline war, wo alle überlebt haben, hat sie die, hat sie die Maschine, die Zeitreisemaschine, so eingestellt, dass die ähm, zu dem Zeitpunkt hingeht, wo die dieses Experiment mit ihrer Mutter gemacht haben. Weil in diesem, äh, weil in diesem Universum ja die Mutter nicht zurückgekommen ist. Und Christina hofft jetzt, dass wenn sie zurückgeht in, die, in eine neue Timeline, dass in dieser Timeline, wo sie dann hinkommt, dass die Mutter da dann auch zurückkommt. Weil, in manch, weil Lionel hat ja schon ein bisschen erklärt, dass in manchen Timelines ähm, die Mutter wieder da war. Beziehungsweise, dass es so schien, als ob die Mutter nie weg gewesen wäre oder sonst was. Und Christina hofft halt jetzt in eine Timeline zu springen, wo ihre Mutter noch lebt, sozusagen. Und ja, das hat es letzten Endes mit den Vögeln zu tun. Ähm, die Vögel waren da zum Testen. Dieses eine Experiment war so, ähm, die haben ja den Vögeln immer so ein Wort beigebracht. Und, und die Vögel an sich haben sie dann zurückgeschickt. Beziehungsweise die, die, die Persönlichkeit, die, die Seele, die Gedanken von den Vögeln haben sie ja dann zurückgeschickt in die Vergangenheit. Und dann haben sie die Vögel immer, haben sie ja immer mehr Vögel gekauft und so weiter. Und irgendwann haben sie einen Vogel gekauft, der schon das Wort kannte oder die, die, die Phrase kannte, die sie den Vögeln immer beigebracht haben. Heißt, das war ein Beweis für die dafür, dass dieser eine Vogel schon mal bei denen gewesen ist und die dem Vogel schon mal ähm, diese Phrase beigebracht haben und der Vogel halt dann erfolgreich äh, zurück in die Zeit, zurück in die Vergangenheit äh, gezeitreist ist und ähm, dass eben diese Zeitreisemaschine dann auch funktioniert und so weiter. Und die haben halt immer mehr Vögel gekauft. Ich nehme an, das wird, glaube ich, nicht richtig erklärt, aber ich, ich nehme halt eben an, weil sie halt ein bisschen verzweifelt wurden, weil sie, ein bisschen, weil sie halt immer mehr Vögel haben wollten, um mehr zu... mehr zu... Ähm, gleich, gleich auf einen Schwung mehr, mehr, prü mehr Vögel prüfen zu können oder sowas. Mutter nicht wiederkommt. Ja, doch schon. Weil Lionel hat ja gesagt, in manchen Timelines, laut deren Berechnung und so weiter, ist, äh, kommt die Mutter ja zurück. Bloß in der Zeit, in der Timeline, wo die war, 
Es ist halt so passiert, dass die, dass die, die Mutter, die Persönlichkeit der Mutter, ähm, in eine andere Timeline eben zurückgegangen ist. Heißt, sie ist nicht in die gleiche Timeline, wo das passiert ist, zurückgegangen, sondern in die Timeline. Also wenn es sie ist, die in den Körper der Mutter geht, geht ja nicht. Weil die können ja nur in, also ich glaube, die können ja nur in die, in ihre eigenen Körper zurück. Die können ja nicht in andere Körper reingehen. Oder? Ja. Das lässt sich dann mit den Vögeln so weit erklären, denke ich mal, dass die dann wahrscheinlich gehofft haben, dass in einem anderen Universum, beziehungsweise dass, dass eben der Vogel, dass irgendwann ein Vogel von einem anderen Universum, in der ihr Universum reinspringt, reinreißt und eben da schon das Wort kannt. Das wäre, denke ich mal, die Erklärung dafür. Aber ich glaube nicht, dass die in den gleichen Körper, beziehungsweise dass die, dass die Tochter in den Körper der Mutter rein kann. Ähm und ja, ich, ich nehme an, äh, dass die Mutter und die Tochter einfach nur die gleichen Namen haben. Das ist einfach äh, ein, ein, ein Plot. Punkt, ein Geschichtspunkt, Storypunkt, äh, einfach für die, für die, für das Ende von, von Steve, weil der ja dann äh, ein bisschen verrückt wird und ähm, diesen, das, das Wort und äh, beziehungsweise rausfindet, welches Wort die denn diesen ähm, Vögeln beigebracht haben, welches nämlich Christina lebt, Deutsch ist, Not die weiß, genau. Und ich nehme an, das sollte einfach nur da ein bisschen, bisschen verwirren, ein bisschen, bisschen den Spieler verwirren, nehme ich an. Für, nur für die Leute, die sich das gefragt haben. Sollte halt zur Story beitragen, aber... Und ja. Und die Mutter, die Mutter von der Christina, also die Mama Christina, die lebt ja tatsächlich bloß halt nicht in der, nicht in der Timeline, sondern in der anderen. Ein roter Hering, beziehungsweise gibt es den Ausdruck roter Hering im Deutschen. Red Herring auf jeden Fall. Aber roter Herring. Englische Redewendung. Blinkungsmanöver. Nebelkerze. Nebelkerze. Hm. Nee. Nebelkerze ist eine Rauchgranate. Ablenkung oder Verschlängung, nee, dann ist es doch nicht. Keine Ahnung. Aber ein Red Herring. Sagen. Ja. So.